my favorite part in Mean Girls is when I sing Beautiful um, because the only person that was in the audience that day was my mom. <laughs> she had flown in and me and her and Lizzie Kaplan stood up and made pepperoni breads for all the cast and crew. And then we came into work the next day and it was just her sitting in the audience. And then the, when you see the audience, like from behind my back with the camera, that was the next day when the audience came in. Okay. But, but it was just me at first. Um, and let me see here. Um, how do you feel about Mean Girls the musical? I love it. I think it's so cute. I mean, man, what a dream, right? I mean, to have something that you created turned in, honored and turned into a musical. And then Damien, the guy who played Damien, Gray Henson, gets a Tony nomination. Like, you know, I didn't even get a GLAAD Award nomination. <laughs> <laughs> like, it was a different time, 2004. And maybe 2004 wasn't ready for, like, you know, a chubby queer teen. But I guess, you know, 2018 was. I mean, it's amazing how your character really stands through time over the last how many years you know that character has stuck out in so many people's lives and minds that you know 2004 is when it came out is that you know it's still just as a, as needed i think there's cultural significance that's because of me but like beyond my power because it really was the first time in like cinema history that we saw like a chubby gay teen be able to breathe and be himself and be funny and have an arc and be part of the story and not just like they're, you know. Um, and I think that it also was a very unique perspective. He wasn't oversexed. It was like right the moment right before his first kiss. You got to see a little bit of like gay innocence. Like people, I think people's perception, especially in 2004 of queer people was always so sexualized if it was ever visualized. And this was somebody who was like pure and like sweet. And I think that it made a lot of young gay kids palatable for a lot of people who wouldn't normally accept a gay person. So like I got letters from a lot of girls who were like, now my best friend can come and have dinner my mom, or sleep over and my mom gets it. I go, oh, mom, he's like a Damien. And because they love you, they love him. And around the 10th anniversary, I got a letter from one of my fans that said, um, I don't know if you're gay or not, and it doesn't matter. And that's why I came out publicly because of this letter. It said, I don't know if you're gay or not, and it doesn't matter. And I was like, yeah, it does matter. The first thing I thought. He goes, but, he goes, when I was in eighth grade, I was beat up for being chubby and tortured for being a sissy. And then your movie came out. And then in ninth grade, the popular senior girls came up to me on the first day of my freshman year and said, you're like Damien, come sit with us. Oh. And he was like, you drastically changed my high school life. And I was popular for four years. And I truly know it's because you gave me something in media that I could look at and say, that's me. And, and he was like, and you made my life so much easier. I cried because I didn't have that. And so I tried to be like what a younger version of me needed to, needed, needed to see. And I think that that is what, as performers and as creators, all we can do is find the part that is missing out there that they're not talking about or they're not doing or they're not saying or showing and then do show, say it. 